welcome back to the channel. We are back on circuit. We're at Brands Hatch and I've got myself an XSR 900 GP. I thought with the R9 coming out next year, this is basically the same platform, isn't it? So I thought we'd take this on track, see what it's like. I, I, I rode this bike on the launch in Portugal. Wasn't the best launch, wasn't that many twisties. So I thought a bit of Brands Hatch action and hopefully the weather will remain dry. Let's hope so. But uh, you know what you got to do. Grab yourself a cup of tea and chop C roll the intro. Well, that's the uh, briefing done. I've signed on. I've let a bit of air out the tyres. Now it's time to. Uh, I think the. I think it's, it's two sets of inters group. I've gone in inters because um, it's not my bike. I'm on road tyres. It's, it's cold. I don't want to risk anything. So I've gone out in. Uh, there's two sets of inters group. I've gone out in the second inters group, and I think we've got the first set of inters group out now. So uh, I'm out in about 20 minutes for a few sighting laps. So. Uh, Let's get to it. We've got Alex here, Greg's, Greg's son, my nephew, and he's on his SV650. He's gonna be doing a bit of a, a bit of noise testing going on over there. He's gonna be doing a bit of racing on this next year. This is a JHS SV650 sort of race bike. But we had a bit of trouble, the battery was flat, so I did bump in, and uh, Alex is out in the fast group course. Embarrassing myself in fast group. <laughs> A bit of noise testing now. He's ready to go. Sounds nice. Do you want me to get the stand? Well, I thought it would be a good uh, opportunity this to actually have a, with the R9 coming, have a play on the XR because it's basically the same engine, same swing and R. Very similar. I think even the suspension's more or less the same. Obviously, the R9 has a different uh, chassis to this, but and better brakes and everything. But I think this will give a real good indication of how good this platform is on track and Brands Hatch Indy, absolutely uh, perfect for it. Woohoo! <laughs> Time for burger yet, is it? Uh, so that's session one done, very wet out there. Bike feels great, really, really good. Um, brakes feel very wooden though. At the end of the main straight before we go into what's the big one, Paddock Hill. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's because they've not been, you know, they've been used on the road for 3,000 miles, so cut the good tugs on it, they seem a bit better. But uh, yeah, very, very good. The track is really wet, as you saw, so hopefully it'll dry out. I'm, in, I'm out again in about an hour, so hopefully it'll be dry by then. I'll speak to you in a minute. One thing I was a bit worried about is, uh, do you like my lever guard? <laughs> it's basically the mirror turned around, so I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't get through with that. I got the, they just about let that through. They said it's probably more solid than a prop on some of these other lever guards which are on the bikes.
They did done it for two years in 1290. This is the second year, so 23 bag. Loving it. Carbon. All carbon. Carbon tail. Forged wheels. Looks like it's got a ballet standard. Well, that's uh, session two done now. Um, fast group's out now. Session three's coming up in a minute. Uh, it's quite surprising actually, that was what they call Inters 2, so there's four sessions in this one. And the pace was quick, it was almost dry, not quite dry, enjoyed it though, but the pace was quite fast in that group. But the, the, the worst thing about the bike so far is going on the brakes into Paddock Hill, they feel quite wooden, but it's alright. I'm just taking it really steady because the last thing I want to do is phone Yamaha up and tell them I've crashed their bike. Of course, that bike has got the OEM rubber, so not the. F it's got S23s, but they're not the multi compound S23, they're a single compound S23, so they're an OEM budget tyre. So I've already crashed a, a ZX10R before on OE rubber, so I don't want to make that mistake again. So I've got to keep everything in check, keep it calm. It's all about having a bit of fun, really, isn't it? And that's what we're going to do. So we're out again for session three in 15 minutes. Should be good. While I was having a bit of lunch, this fella came over. Here he is, just admiring your bike. Yeah, I've got you to thank for that. That's all right, mate, that's all right. Was it a 450? 500. Yeah. Fast, a 500, just that's like my one. Yeah. 500 EXE, got the SM Pro wheels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the header's got a bit ruined today with the levers. First oh, time was that the levers? First time they've seen each other. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> How you been getting on? They're getting on all right, yeah? Um, I put a finger sprocket on the back and went from 45 to 47 C. Yeah. Um, and it's great, but it does run out of puff about halfway down the street. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather mention the word. What's the caliper you got there then? Is that, uh, I've not seen that one before. A little Brembo one. Yeah. Oh, the Motormaster bracket. That's You've got it. the Motormaster bracket on there. Yeah, it's lovely. Very, very nice. It's a shame we're not in the same group. I'd love to have seen it going round. <laughs> well, I've just had some tuition actually, but yes. Oh, have you? Yeah, really handy. Yeah, you got the FMF on it as well. Yeah, it's nice that, mate. Really nice. Really, really nice.
just had lunch break as you can hear fast scoots back out again i'm back out in a minute there's a bit of rain in the air now which is a bit of a shame so we're all just uh, crossing the fingers to hope it doesn't come to anything just don't rain It's a bit uh, noisy, hope you can hear me. I've just been out and it's sort of, you've got rain on the bars they're coming down and I've just come in. It's just uh, not worth the risk, I've decided. I don't want to risk <laughs> the Yamaha's bike when the weather's a little bit sketchy. I mean, it's fine, it's, it's mental rain as they call it and the track is dry, but you're getting water on, you're getting rain on your visor. It's just horrible. And with these OEM tires, a little bit damp when it's not my bike um, it's not worth pushing so i'll come in hopefully it will stop raining and we'll get another good couple of sessions towards the end of the day that's the hope but uh, yeah i'm not willing to push i do not want to make that phone call to yamaha to say so yamaha i've crashed your bike Well, it has uh, stopped raining, so I think I'm going to risk one more quick session now. So, uh, bike's here, ready to go, and hope this will be the last one. So, hopefully, we'll get through this without bending it. <laughs> Let's do it. So that is it, job done, day over. That last session was uh, red flagged because someone put it in the kitty litter as you saw. But uh, 
The bike has been fantastic, to be honest. Perfect size around here. Didn't feel like I needed any more power. Absolutely spot on. These raised bars, you know, this has got the clip-ons are above the yoke, so it's, it's actually very comfortable. I will be doing a road review of this machine as well, so we'll do a follow-up road test. I know I went on the launch of this, but didn't really get a good feel for it on the launch, really, because the roads weren't great. We spent most of the time just messing around Estriel circuit, taking photos. And by the time we got on the road, it was rush hour, so we didn't really get to play with this bike much, but it's very, very capable on track. You know, obviously, if you do a faster track, you're going to get swallowed up on it. It's only 117 horsepower, but it's got so much drive, so much power. Suspension seems good. The remote freeload adjuster is really handy for fatties just to get some preloading. I didn't play with the suspension. I wasn't pushing it hard enough because this bike's got the OEM S23s, which are single compound. So I'm not sure whether these are the sticky compounds all the way over or the hard compound. So I never really put full faith in the tyres. So um, yeah, I wasn't really pushing. So I'll overtake a lot, but I did not want to uh, have to phone Yamaha and tell them that I've crashed. It's only like 15, 14 degrees, so it's not warm either. So, And the weather's been dodged, so, you know, main priority. And I've got to ride this bugger home. I'm riding this home, so the main priority was to get this through this day in one piece. And we've done that, even though we weren't as quick, perhaps, as we could have been. But there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I say, I will be back to do a... Uh, a follow-up road test on this machine and we'll do a road review and I'll let you know all my thoughts on this uh, fantastic little motorcycle. So thanks for watching, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys. Sorry, Karazaki. Fuck, fuck, fuck a tea. Muck, fuck. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, oh, fuck. This is a nightmare.